Hey, Jalen, what do you think today uh, Miami did that separated them from you guys overall? Um, they finished the third quarter strong. Finished half time. Finished the second quarter strong. Um, the key moments in the game where you know we need to finish strong, be strong, and um, uh, that starts with me. I didn't. Today I was horrific. Um, yeah, just very uncharacteristic by me, and um, yeah, this one's on me, and I gotta be better, and um, we'll go from there. Jalen, you guys struggled to execute the offense in the last four minutes. What did they do defensively? They were swarming the paint, but what else did they do to you defensively? Yeah, um, it's tough playing, um, you know, playing catch up, and you know, when we're trying to, you know, play fast and uh, get the ball in the basket and uh, speed the game up a little bit, and. Um, yeah, the ball just wasn't going in the basket for us. And, uh, had a couple turnovers late, and um, so I give him credit. Jen, Tom thought there was a lot of contact inside that maybe didn't go your way, the team's way today. Mm -hmm. Did you agree with that? It is what it is. They have a tough job to do, and um, we got to respect what they do. Jalen, when, when Jimmy is clearly hobbled like that the last four or so minutes of the game, what what is your guys' approach in, in trying to attack him Fearing away from him, what what are you guys trying to do there? Yeah, um, tricky situation. Obviously, he wasn't 100. percent um, He's one of the best defenders in the league. So, um, you know, even if his feet aren't, you know, moving fast side to side, you know, he has great hands. You know, but um, you know, as a team, you know, we gotta be do a better job of recognizing what's going on, especially late in the game. And um, like I said, it, 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 it starts with me. Jalen, are you encouraged by the fact that you were there late in the game, even though you guys, you personally said you didn't feel you played well, yeah. and the team didn't shoot the three well? Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, you can't be discouraged. You know, um, playing in the NBA, a lot of it's all confidence, and um, you got to stay confident, and uh, you got to stay poised, and you got to stick together as a team. And um, we just got to come back hungry, be better, uh, fix our mistakes, and uh, move forward from there. Jalen, when you were talking about you know putting it on yourself, was it something Miami did today to get you out of rhythm, or did you just feel like your shot was off? Uh, I think, I mean, inside the three-point line, I was pretty efficient. Um, outside the three-point line, I was you know, terrible. Um, they're a good team, great defense, well-coached, experienced. So uh, you got to give them credit. And, uh, but for me, I have to be better. Did, did you feel like they defended you any differently? Once you started missing, did, it, did, did they feel like they were doing anything different with you or, you know, to play your drive differently or anything like that? Or was it? Um, well, kind of go back to how I answered the last question. It's they're a good team. They are well coached. Um, they have a game plan. They stuck to it. Um, ball wasn't going in the basket for me from beyond the arc. And um, that's that. I just got to be better. Okay. Uh, Jalen, it seemed like uh, their offense kind of got unstuck a little bit when they started being able to get out in transition, maybe Jimmy leaking out a lot after jump shots. Uh, is that something that you, uh, you can be able to tighten up a little bit more with floor balance? How, how do you address getting rid of those transition buckets? Yeah, um, Jimmy's uh, primarily was guarding me. So uh, for me, I need to be able to get spent back um, and uh, protect the basket. And uh, when other guys are going to the rim or shooting, and um, I can't be last day, last of days going that part. So, um, yeah, like a lot of it, like I'm going to keep saying it. Like, this is on me today. All right, nice show. Nice show. You guys were so good on the boards against Cleveland. They do a, a good job of keeping Mitch and at bay there. Well, I mean, we all rebounded them. But, you know, the thing is, it, the discrepancy on the threes is, is a lot of ground to make up. If they're making 13 and we're making seven, and then, you know, 29 free throws. You know, so we're giving them a lot somewhere, you know, fouls at the end. Uh, when Jimmy goes down there with about five minutes left, um, what were you were you thinking and was there any effort to say, hey, we need to go attack him? Well, we try to put him into situations, but, you know, he's a good, he's a good player. He's, you know, he's still going to find ways to do things. Tom, I know threes are shooting in a ball game, but is there anything else you can do in terms of should they be taking better threes? Are you looking for better threes? Well, the game tells you what to do. You know, so if you're open, you got to let it go. Um, you know, they're going to collapse, and we got to make the right reads. Um, and that's it. Coach, uh, Obi gave you a lot of minutes in the third quarter. He took him out for a blow, but he was the only one that was sort of hitting his threes. He didn't come back in. What was your thought? Yeah, to stay just small? matching up the way they were. 
Uh, Coach, back here. Um, early third quarter, they seem to have a lot of success leaking out after jump shots. Jimmy, in particular, getting out there. Uh, what can you do to? Uh, yeah, that's what we uh, I mentioned earlier. Protecting the basket is the first priority. So having floor balance. Tom, you guys only shot 28% in the first round from three also. Is there anything you're seeing in just in terms of the three right now for you? Yeah, and that, you know, if they're open, you got to shoot them. Tom, early in the game, you guys were kind of hitting the paint, finding shooters, finding cutters. What did you see the change in the offensive process kind of in that fourth well, yeah, quarter you know, when you were more getting crowded? you gotta, you got to shoot the ball well, but, I, you know, we scored on 60 points in the paint, so that part was good. You know, I want to take a look at the film. It seemed like there was a lot of contact that we didn't get. Uh, Coach, you mentioned matchups, matchups in the fourth quarter, but OB, 18 points, eight rebounds in the game. How did you feel about his play during the game? I thought he played very well, very well, yeah. Um, what did you see from Jalen today? Do you, do you think Miami did anything to get him out of rhythm? No, not really. I mean, I mean they, they're going to make him work, you know, in uh, – but that's what he faces every game, you know. So uh, take a look at, you know, he didn't make his threes, but uh, for the most part, I thought they were they were great looks. And he, uh, he's a, you know, shot, you know, over 40 percent for 82 games. So we got a lot of confidence in him shooting the ball. Tom, you obviously wanted to match up Butler's minutes with uh, with Hearts. How how married are you to that game plan? Considering that if you guys want to get more shooting on the floor, that's one uh, way to go. It's a good question. You know, it's uh, you know Josh has shown that he's a, he's a good shooter, so we can't hesitate. Um, you know, we're still working Quentin back. So and the thing about uh, Butler is his size too. His size is a is a big thing. Tom, was, was Julius close at all today, and how much did you miss him today? I, I don't know how close. You know, I know he worked out before, and I just trust him and the medical staff to make that decision. So if he could go, I, I planned both ways. I planned with, with him going and, and planned if he didn't go. So, um, you know, once they make a decision, that's it, you know, and, and you live with it and you get ready with what you have. And so we have more than enough. All right, thanks, Tess. Yep.